My name is Philip Fischer. I'm the product manager for PCA Pro Camera Accessories Mechanical. And as always, we have like uh, some new products here at the show. Um, to start with, we made a, we make accessories for all kind of cameras in the industry, and we have made very successful accessories for the PMW F5 and F55 from Sony. And we started with kind of a Cine style accessories for them and now we added another one because um, customers came back to us and said we would like to adapt again also to the video world so we made this quick look um, broadcast plate accessory for the sony f5 and f55 um, as well as offering a triggering start stop hand grip for the sony f5 and 55 you can use with the standard ari rosettes shoulder set systems a bridge plate sled is something which, um, how could I explain it, is a little bit like a, a studio bridge plate without the holes for the rods, um, like a BP-8 or a BP-9. The reason for that is you have more and more smaller, lighter cameras, but lenses and accessories are still a little bit heavy and not so light as the, the camera are like reducing the weight. And the problem is a little bit that if you want to balance the camera on your tripod, some tripods are small and they, they not have the possibility to balance them as you used to um, if you're using a BP-8, but BP-8 is not necessary for all kinds of productions. You would like to use your 50 millimeter standard lightweight support system. So the solution for that is a BPS-2. You can slide it with our bottom plates and you can balance very nicely your camera on your tripods and fluid heads. Talking about bottom plates, we redesigned our existing 300 mm 12 inch bottom plate. We added quarter inch threads. We only had three eight inch threads in it till now. So now there are also quarter inch threads um, implemented. Um, we reduced the weight by um, having it at like same rugged and like you used to with the Ari quality, we reduced the weight uh, 25% and we changed the locking mechanism on the back to a much nicer one and a much more um, thumb friendly one. Uh, we added two new bottom plates. So we have a family of bottom plates. We have a, five, a 415 millimeter 18 inch version and we have a 600 millimeter 24 inch version where you can also add rod supports if you're using long lenses and you want to support the long rods you're using on your bridge plate. We announced the LBS-1, UBS-1, both bridge supports, um, I think a year ago, and we had some customer feedback that they, some of them, the system was you had a 3.8 inter inch interface on the side and you could add rosette adapters if you need them. Um, because you could also add other accessories onto it, but the customers came back to us and said, if we only use it on a handheld set, please include it include the rosettes into the LBS um, into the LBS and the UBS. Um, so it's it's one system and we can use it um, as a handheld system. And we did that. It's LBS2 and a UBS2. They're um, much more compact. They're less expensive than an LBS1 with added rosette adapters. The difference between the LBS2 and the UBS2 is lightweight bridge support has only the lightweight standard implemented. implemented. The UBS um, two is, I think, the only bridge support in the market which offers all three standards in one product. It's the lightweight bridge support in the in, in the center, and Studio 19 and 15 support um, in the bigger holes. Then there was an announcement of two new cameras at NAB. One was the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, and the other one was a digital Bolex. It's a Kickstarter project. Um, for both of these cameras, we just added adapters for our existing mini bridge plate MBP3 system. So our idea is still being modular. So if you already have a system, the only thing you have to add is an additional adapter and you can use all the accessories you already have by only adding one adapter. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, please, Hendrik Voss, he will tell you more about the electronics. <laughs>